Uh, so there's this crazy story. Um, when I remember one of my friends, well, it, I was going to over dramatize and say he, he almost got killed, but he did, not but it was pretty exciting nonetheless. Um, so when we were like eight or nine, you know, we used to run around the streets pretty much, well, like everyone else at that time in the seventies. And, um, this one time we were not that close to home, but not that far, probably four or five blocks. And for some reason, we were playing on a fairly busy street, like a major street on the side. You know, we were on the sidewalk and we were, as I recall, kicking around this ball. And it was um, it was one of those plastic balls about the size of a soccer ball I mean, you would buy it at the dollar store now, probably, you know, it's, it's like the size of a soccer ball, but it's very, very lightweight. So little kids, you know, could kick it around. And, um, honestly, I don't know if we were throwing it around, kicking it around. Can't remember any of that. It was summer. And I remember I was playing with my, my neighbors who were twins and they were twin shit disturbers. And of course I was the added fuel. Like the two of them probably wouldn't get into that much trouble on their own but they would invite me to come along and i don't know i think they just become that much more devious when when uh when i was there and i would have never done any of the stuff we did uh had it uh had it been just me i was kind of like i kept to myself but anyway we were kicking the ball around and at some point you know it's a super light ball so it could easily bounce where you didn't want it to and it bounced into the street and one of the twins literally didn't even stop for a second he didn't even stop to consider he just bounded into the street after this ball and it was funny because I think the ball must have been like to his right so he turned facing away from traffic and he was kind of like in a stooped position to he was kind of bending over to pick up the ball just sort of in the process and as he was in the process of that a car came up from behind because he was literally he didn't give this car any chance to stop this car just hit the brakes but hit him from behind and I mean it could have been awful and I was like <gasps> you know <laughs> It was just like, oh my God, you know, it flashes before your eyes. Oh my God, what, what, what are we going to tell his parents and his brothers there? Anyway, the car hits him so perfectly in the ass that, and he's in such a perfect position that he doesn't tumble or fall. He just kind of flies through the air, probably five feet in the same position, almost in a chair <laughs> position and lands right on his ass in the street and literally just hops up and the person in the car is just like oh my god what like oh you know are you okay you know everybody's like traffic stops okay people are freaking out um they called the ambulance the ambulance came you know of course they're examining him but literally he wasn't even he didn't even have a scratch i don't know he might have torn his shorts i have no i i don't even think he he did that he was like i'm fine <laughs> and, and um and and that was that like you know i i think the ambulance wanted to take him home and he was like no i'm fine so we're three eight-year-olds nine maybe nine-year-olds gets hit by a car and we just walked home after that we might have even stopped we might have even stopped for a, a popsicle on the way home <laughs> never even spoke about it again but these days, oh God, can you imagine? Oh my God. But, you know, we were just more resilient then because everybody's so focused on trauma now that they just go, are you okay? Uh, uh, uh. And then, so it makes you feel traumatized. Whereas if you're just left to shake it off and go, uh, you know, he and honestly, he probably was like, what just happened? But obviously he knew he wasn't hurt. So he just kind of was like, Oh shit, I just got hit by a car. Uh, and it wasn't the only time 
And it probably wasn't even the first time because I remember seeing him get hit on his bicycle too. It was always the same twin. Um, anyway, you know, that that was the 70s. And that was me and the twins. And there's a million more stories just like that.